So here we are out in uh, Anglesey. Um, beautiful weather as you can see. And at the moment it's the Friday, it's the first day at the moment. There's just yourself and the coin master here. Yeah. Hello. Who's as you can see has totally been tangoed. But uh, hey, we won't miss him in the field. Won't miss me. Right, so uh, yeah, so this is the, the first first of the Friday fields we're, we're going to do. Other people are working their way down. Um, the weather is scheduled to improve, allegedly. Um, but hey, it doesn't matter. What else? We're detecting. Let's go see what we can find. The amount of rain that we've had over the last 24 hours here has been absolutely amazing. I mean, it rained all night last night, and not just a shower, it was hammering down. And yet, look at this soil, dry as a bone. Uh, there's only the first couple of inches there, they're a bit damp. And the top there, anyway, good signal. And a nice little find here. Um, not quite sure what this is. It's possibly a, a lid off something, a little lid. And uh, got certainly a bit of shape to it. Um, probably, well, let's say 18th, 19th century at the moment. Um, great. I just got a cracking signal here, um, and I was just about to dig it, and the phone went, and it was uh, Harry. Uh, just wanted to know what the crack was because he's on his way down with Rich at the moment, and we'll see him later on. But uh, here, um, okay, it's, it's. I think it's a little like an escutcheon type thing from from a key or a lock plate from a key. Quite a, looks as if it's quite a bit of decoration on it, but uh, yeah, it's possibly a nice little find. So, Malcolm, Malcolm Potter over there, he's, uh, he's down in, uh, he joined us about half an hour ago, digging something up. Um, uh, yeah, Neil's away over there, you must be able to see that at uh, Orange Suit. Um, and we've just got what I'm pretty sure is probably going to be the first pre-decimal coin of the day, I hope. Um, in here. Oh, it's not. It's not. Would you believe that? It's not a coin, but it's something's a medallion, maybe. I don't know whether it's lead or pewter, but there's certainly there's something on there. I can see a, a five or an S. Oh, that's a strange looking thing. It looks as if it's been held at the top, maybe for a pendant. So another find here, um, this again comes at the head and it could be anything. Uh, I took this out of the, this bit of the sod here and then I noticed there's something sticking out here. Um, huh, so, quite a, okay, I uh, really don't know but probably nothing spectacular. Oh, it's uh, quite a nice find here. Um, this is uh, a barrel tap, and uh, looks to be maybe complete. Um, that's a spigot that would have gone into the barrel. Uh, yeah, just the handle missing off the top there, I think. Quite nice. That's quite a nice find. Um, that's again. That's going to be sort of 18th, uh, 19th century, I think. Cool. Right, uh, 
first call of the weekend. Um, ah, Victoria Haley. Uh, so we think I'm there, yeah. Uh, maybe in quite a nice condition. I think I should be able to get the date off it. But uh, right, that's good. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Ah, it took a lot of fight, a lot of digging to find it, but uh, eventually came out. And it's a uh, uh, little button, uh, gilt, uh, possibly a military one. Uh, certainly, the crown on there, I'm sure. Crown and anchor, uh, I think it is. Anyway, yeah, nice little find. Well, next find here. Um, again, probably a button. See, it's sticking out the edge there. But, uh, you just don't know in this field. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, nothing hugely spectacular, but there's it's stuff. Yep, yeah, it's a button. Um, and again, I think it's probably a military one. Uh, this one's not uh, hasn't got the gold gilt on it though, but uh, even so. Again, uh, I think the half penny, probably Victorian again. Um, can't really tell, but uh, hey, another coin, let's keep going. Well, it's a strange looking find. Um, not totally sure what it is, to be honest. I had thought maybe a door up, but what are these two bits sticking up the side? I, I just don't know. Uh, yeah, quite sure somebody will know something, but yeah, how bizarre is that? And next one here is uh, plug off an oil drum. Um, yeah, shell. You quite see that. Yeah, shell oil drum. So, all right, a nice little find. But uh, could do with something a little bit older. But uh, you know, can't complain too much. All right, so day two, um, the Raffman airlock, uh, organised the dig, thank you very much mate, it's That's all been good, um, and we got, uh, well basically further than you can actually see here, um, over the top of the hills and far away, so uh, we're going to crack on, uh, there's Bronze Age and Roman here, that, that's known to be here, um, so let's go see what we can find. All right, uh, first signal here, um, and we got a 303 shell casing. Um, probably a dropped one, I think. I don't think it's been actually used, but okay. Um, we'll be able to take that, I would have thought.
cracking signal here and uh, I just have my first coin for the day um, looks like a probably a two pence I think uh, yeah decimal tuppence yep okay right I was hoping for something a bit older but um, hey it'll do it's a start Oh, this is nice, um, very shallow on here. I just scoop this bit out of the sod and uh, two coins, and they're both uh, probably decimal pennies. I think, or, are they? Oh, five p's maybe. Can't actually see, anyway. Two coins, some description, and uh. I think they're maybe five peas, I think they're a bit small for anything else. Well, it's been uh, only a couple, of, couple, two and a half hours, and uh, it looks as if I'm on my own. Can't see another soul. I think most people have headed back um, to the road there. Uh, Going to get an ice cream and a cold drink or something. Uh, and to be honest, I was headed back that way myself, but I'm detecting while I'm doing it instead of walking. And uh, here we go. I have my oldest coin of the day, an actual pre-decimal, very, very worn, Victoria. Um, penny, uh, 18, uh, it's 1860 something, I think it may be 1862, but very worn, but hey, that's okay, I'll have it. Well, came uh, into this long strip field finally. Um, it's probably going to be the last field for the day, I think. Oh, and uh, got right to the end. A couple of signals, all scrap, but finally got to the end here and another coin. Um, now then, this I go again, Victoria. Quite nice condition. Um, can you see the date on it? No, I can't. Uh, oh yeah, uh, 1886 I believe. Our next find here is uh, yeah, fishing weight, number three. Okay, still got the wire attached. Somebody's been doing some casting practice here. Oh, hang on, 85, that side. Okay. Somebody's been doing some casting practice and uh, I think dropped this one because there's no twine on it, so I don't think it's snapped off. Well, just been looking at um, the coin meister's uh, find there. It was a lovely little uh, brooch in the form of a, a tied bow. Pin was missing at the back, um, but I'm pretty sure it's silver, set with rhinestones. And it doesn't look to be too many rhinestones, if any at all, missing. Um, but it does look, it's cleaning up nicely, so it could very well be silver. 
Um, so yeah, uh, looking at that, uh, then it came over here, um, got a good signal, and I've got another coin. This one is a George V. Uh, yep, um, may be able to get a date off it on the back, but it's very looks very worn on the back there. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm doing all right for coppers. Still not too sure. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's uh, um, an Irish uh, decimal five pence. I'm sure that date's 1971. Uh, there is a harp on that side. Can't quite see what's on that, but um, we'll call it that for the moment and uh, I'll take it over, see if the coin mouse can uh, shed any light on it. Here we are then, uh, the Sunday, day three. Uh, we've had the raffle this morning and um, yeah, we're all happy. Everybody got something, I think, and uh, we're now out and it's going to be uh, about 11 o'clock by the time we get out into this field. What's the site of a, a Georgian prison, I believe? Um, a Georgian first or Georgian second, not quite sure. But uh, it's looking good, grass is short. And we're all getting geared, geared up to go and uh, hey, Another good day's detecting, hopefully. Um, I do have, oh, there we go, look, uh, the gold watch, but the black gloves this morning. Um, I'm trying these out, Neil, uh, Neil reckons they're really good, and uh, we'll, we'll give them a go, um, see how we get on. But, uh, yeah, there's Neil now getting set up. Um, Mel Potter, Arturo Mega Donkey, um, John 316 Amanda, Brandon, and the four king diggers over the end there, look. And Carl. Um, great. So, um, oh yeah, Rathman's over there by the gate. Having a chat there, so. Yep, as soon as we get going, um, see what we can find, we'll come back. I've cracked a signal here, and uh, it's out in amongst the stuff here. Alright. Okay. Uh, Oh, this is, um, it's the butt off a toy pistol. Ah, what a shame it's broken, but that's kind of nice, it's a nice little find to start with. Oh, McGarrett um, has finally given up the ghost, the Euro Ace. Um, it's the coil has cracked in several places and it was just gone absolutely ballistic, um, with the, I guess with the moisture in the grass. So, uh, Coinmeister uh, North Wales was kind enough to come on back and uh, take me back over to the camper to get my spare detector, which is the Laser Hawkeye. Um, I've got the Garrett earphones on it, but the uh, Hawkeye itself. Um, haven't used it for quite a while and uh, I'm just uh, well giving it a go now to see what happens but I have to say um, both uh, Coinmeister and uh, Raffman um, have really looked after us very well uh, on, on this dig um, they put a huge amount of effort into organizing it and uh, I really can't thank them enough um, you get the chance I suggest you check out the channels because they really do find some cracking stuff and very entertaining videos so okay so i've just had my first signal here um with the hawkeye uh, it's it was coming up at sort of um 35 to 45 and in the bottom of the sod here we have a ah not quite sure to be honest i was going to say it's um like a pin from a um, 
a draw handle, but not that spade on the end. Maybe, it may be. Anyway, Georgian, I'm sure. And uh, possibly a nice, a nice find. I'm sure somebody will ID it for me. And this one, a uh, solid 95 signal. Um, okay, definitely in the sod, but okay, let's see if we can just scoop some of this out. And, yep. Alright, what have we got? Surely not. No. Uh, ah, coin! Okay, uh, all right then, George the six penny. Um, yeah, yep, George the six penny. So, look at the dates, I think it's uh, 1943. Yeah, okay, right. Okay, that's my first coin for the afternoon. Let's keep moving. This one was coming up between 85 and 95, and uh, it is um, back of a pocket watch, I think. So, okay, uh, not a silver one though, copper one, but all right, another find.